children in Syria not only are affected in their daily basis, they lost their family, they lost their house, but they lost the hope. They are full of anger. I repeated this. They are full of anger. And they, if this continue, they will, we will face a generation of illiterate. This is a serious matter. And this is what is happening in Syria and in neighboring country, because even those who are trying to open their schools, like Lebanon, to the Syrian, there is a problem of curricula, there is a problem of capacity, there is a problem of language. I think it's, it's now very clear that many uh, children are involved in different functions in, uh, from many armed groups uh, that are operating inside Syria. And even, I would add, even in, in, some, uh, in some camps, the recruitment are ongoing outside Syria to, to, to send people inside. Those who are violating the right of children, they have to pay one day. And they have to know that we have a system that allow us to gather in a very uh, 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 professional way the information that we receive and assess the credibility of this information. We, I was very vocal with the government. I was very clear with them. And I have a very uh, uh, fruitful discussion to say, this is your responsibility. This is the response. We cannot just uh, uh, consider that uh, 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 you are fighting terrorism. You have to also work with part of your population that is uh, 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 not happy with uh, the, the way it is uh, treated.